What's going on guys? Killer6 back with another Borderlands 3 legendary item guide for you and this time we're taking a look at the Mind Killer. The Mind Killer is a Malawan shotgun with no element. That's right, a non-elemental Malawan. What in the world is this all about? The red text reads, I must not fear. Fear is the Mind Killer. Which is a quote from Frank Herbert's Dune. I must not fear. Fear is the Mind Killer. This gun appears to never spawn with a prefix, but there are multiple parts that can change the weapon's stats. The level 8 stats are 13 by 9 damage, 57% accuracy, 49% handling, 2.4 second reload, 1.38 fire rate per second, and a mag size of 9. Additional stats are 35% weapon damage, 20% weapon charge speed, which is specific to Malawan guns, and just determines how fast you'll be able to shoot after charging your shot. So what does this gun do? Well, this one is interesting. It appears to me that aiming down sights focuses all of your pellets into a much tighter packing. As you can see here when I ADS, the projectiles make a small, almost like a plus sign. But when I hip fire, I get a large circle pattern of eight pellets with the ninth pellet perfectly centered in the middle. Charging your shots versus firing as fast as possible doesn't appear to make a difference to me, but without a firing range dummy, it's really hard to tell. Uh, several people have noticed in my footage of using this that it appears that occasionally when you hit a crit that the projectile will go through that person and hit a person behind them. I haven't experienced that. I don't know if that actually happens or not. So again, we're really early in on this. So if I'm wrong about that, then, you know, make a note of it. So how do you get this gun? The Mind Killer is a rare drop from Mouthpiece in Ascension Bluff. He will be encountered during the story mission, and you can return to farm him after completing the current objectives and starting the next story mission. Once you return to his area, you can actually respawn from the save point right before his arena for a much faster farm. Please note, the very first time that I came back here to farm him again, he didn't respawn just by me dropping in. I had to run to the back gate of the arena, and then he spawned. So just in case that happens to you, that way you'll know what to do. Mouthpiece has a few phases where once you damage him enough, he becomes immune for a few seconds and blasts his speakers. Just be aware of the indicators on the floor letting you know which speakers are about to go off. That way you can avoid taking damage during this phase. In case you do go into fight for your life, this boss has a lot of tinks running around the arena, so you can just easily kill those guys to get a second win. I actually recommend leaving the tinks alive as much as possible, other than maybe killing one every once in a while to proc your kill skills before attacking Mouthpiece. All in all, this was a very easy item to farm. I got mine after about 15 runs, give or take, and the longest portion of that time was spent just waiting on the immune phases of the fight. So is this gun worth getting? Yeah, absolutely. On normal mode and right near the beginning of the game, this weapon can be a massive help to you. It's a powerful shotgun, but being non-elemental for a Malawan is pretty weird. Ultimately, on normal, a good Jacob shotgun would probably be a better choice for you, but still, this thing is pretty nice, honestly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please take a second to hit that like button, hit subscribe, tap that bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. Lots more Borderlands 3 coming for you guys. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.